Niamh McIntosh est une actrice écossaise connue principalement pour ses rôles dans Doctor Who. Si son visage ne vous dit rien, ceux des siluriennes Alaya, Restak et Vastra vous parleront sûrement plus. Nous avons profité de son passage à Paris Manga en février 2016 pour lui poser quelques questions. Mais le vortex temporel s'est embrouillé Nous l'avons donc interviewé dans le passé, le présent et le futur. Nous sommes en 2016. Comment allez-vous que pensez-vous de Paris Manga jusqu'à présent Oh, c'est fantastique, fun. C'est fun. It's really noisy and really busy, which is always good. Um, and one of the things that I most want to do at the moment is go out and do some shopping. But I'll wait till tomorrow. I'll save my money. <laughs> Quelles sont vos passions I love going scuba diving and trying to clean up the sea every time that I go in there. We're so dirty as human beings, it depresses me, but I get very passionate about that. Um, I get very passionate about, yes, any animal welfare issues and environmental issues. Other passions, my cats, uh, my friends, Doctor Who still, Star Wars still, um, yeah. Retournons en 1980. Vous avez 8 ans. <laughs> que regardez-vous à la télévision Doctor Who Every Saturday night, probably Wonder Woman, anything with horses. Anything at all with the horses. Oh yeah, because especially on Saturday mornings you had Zorro, the old black and white Zorro, and you would get the old black and white Flash Gordon, you know, with the all the story going up before, like they copied in Star Wars. Um, yeah. Que voulez-vous devenir quand vous serez grande? Oh, I was going to be an international show jumper or a vet. Uh, international show jumper is a bit more glamorous. Yeah. Nous sommes en 2010. Vous jouez des jumelles siluriennes dans l'épisode de Doctor Who, The Hungry Earth. Comment vous sentez-vous Oh my god, I was over the moon. And to be a creature as well. I'd always wanted to do something crazy and creature, you know. And when they showed me the picture of what I was auditioning for, I was just like, oh my god, that'd be amazing. So yes, and I then promptly phoned my brother up, who's a mad dad Doctor Who fan, um, and bragged and told him I couldn't tell him any of the story. And he got really annoyed with me. Nous sommes en 2019. Oh. Le spin-off The Pattern of Gang est un des programmes les plus populaires sur BBC One. Yes, of course it is. Que pensez-vous de ce succès phénoménal? Um, it's, 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 it's incredible. But um, the characters are so well written, it was only natural it was going to happen. And obviously so well played by myself, Catherine and Dan. Yes. And of course uh, we're in the process at the moment of this, vetting the script for the whole movie franchise that's about to happen as well. Very happy. <laughs> de retour en 1991. Oh. Demain, vous ferez votre première apparition à la télévision dans la série Le Rebelle. Êtes-vous nerveuse? Renegade. Oh oh. I think this is one that I never did. I was never in something called Renegade. Is that IMDb? Oh oh. Une boulette de notre part. Nous sommes donc allés voir ce rôle indiqué comme son premier sur IMDb. Et c'est cette dame, Carol McIntosh, qui porte donc le même nom que Nive. Bon bah on va faire comme si on n'avait rien dit hein. Désolé Nive. What I do remember was my first ever appearance on television. Uh, there's a, a very Scottish TV series called Taggart, which doesn't exist anymore. It's a detective, TV detective drama. And I had no speaking lines, but I was a maid at a sex party and I got arrested. And you see me getting taken out. And when I phoned my mum up. To tell her, I've got my first part on TV. My mum was like, oh, brilliant, what are you doing? I'm playing a prostitute. She went, oh, great. So, yeah. <laughs> so that was the first that I remember. I need to find out what Renegade is, because there are a couple of things on IMDb that I don't think are real. Nous sommes en 2021. Nous venons de voir le premier épisode du 14e Docteur, interprété par... Oh, euh, comment s'appelle-t-il déjà of the 14. We need Macintosh, but uh, ah no 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 no. Can we get George Clooney? And <laughs> that's only if he's if we do the Doctor turning up in the Paternoster gang, and I get to work with him. I'm still getting used to Peter Capaldi. Do you love him? He's grumpy, a uh, bit grumpy, clever and funny. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, maybe it's still. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, I need to think about that one for longer. <rire> Sorry. Retour en 2016. Merci énormément de nous avoir accordé ces quelques minutes. Un petit mot pour vos nivelettes Oh, my nivelettes I love you You're amazing My nivelettes are, are my, my little family now. Lots of love. Keep smiling. 
and giving hugs. Always give hugs. That's it. Merci au staff de Paris Manga qui nous a permis de faire cette interview, à Cap de Nivelettes pour nous avoir fourni quelques informations supplémentaires, et bien entendu à Niv McIntosh d'avoir accepté de se prêter à notre petit jeu. J'espère que cette petite interview vous a plu, n'hésitez pas à vous abonner, à partager la vidéo, à la commenter et à l'aimer, et à bientôt pour une prochaine interview